Good morning Pisces, welcome to my channel, my name is Katie and today I'm going to be doing a reading for you guys. Let's see what important messages are coming through. We are open for anything and everything today, whatever relevant message is desiring to come through the cards. Today I'm going to be using a very unique tarot that I got on Etsy. It's called the Mythical Monsters or something like that. It's really cool. So let's see. Pisces. Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus Pisces. You guys must have this introduction memorized by now. <laughs> Especially if you watch the daily readings. Just as a reminder, Always gonna leave the information, um, my contact information under this video, including also the link to the three online courses that I'm offering: the Abundance Blueprint, Past Life Regression Course, and the Level One Tarot Course. Okay, so if you resonate with learning something new, healing, or um, healing your relationship with money, that's all there. Messages for Pisces. The most relevant messages for Pisces. I'm taking the cards that fall on the table upright. Whoa. <laughs> okay, I'll take it. I said I would take it, so I'm gonna take it. Knight of Swords, Judgment, Ten of Pentacles, Knight of Pentacles, The Wands, Ace of Cups. I love that these cards are kind of small. A few more messages for Pisces. Messages for Pisces. Seven of Swords, the Devil, and the Emperor. Okay. There's a little bit of everything here, I do have to say. Let's start with Love. We see here the Ace of Cups, we see the Two of Cups. For some reason I feel like the Seven of Cups is related to Love, in this case. Also the Knight of Pentacles and the Knight of Swords. So, you may be thinking a little bit about love, Pisces. You may be wishing for a new beginning in love, wishing for a heightened relationship of self-love with yourself, maybe experiencing that at the moment, Maybe wishing for a new relationship, getting to know someone. There's an earth sign and an air sign here. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, Capricorn, Virgo, Taurus. They're coming in very quickly, aggressively. It's as though they know that maybe recently you started being single or you got a divorce or something like that and they're coming in fast. They're coming in really fast. And they want this two of cups with you. They see you as a unicorn, Pisces. Someone special in their life. Someone unique. They come in flashing their money. That's interesting. They come in flashing their money, flashing their uh, financial stability, material luxuries. Maybe they take you on a very fancy date or propose something that's um, a way for them to show you their worth 
by showing you their abundance. Maybe both of them are, or just one of them. Could be the earth sign. I'm feeling more inclined to say that's the earth sign. They want to show you that they're stronger. They want to show you that... Sorry, I got interrupted. Um, so yeah, it's like... It's as though one of your romantic interests or possibilities or options, they know that you have other options and they want to prove their worth. They want to prove to you that they're the right choice for you. But inevitably here, there's a sense of competition. And I feel like for 95% of you, it's an earth sign or an earth sign and an air sign competing for your attention. But I mean, remember that these readings um, are based on energy and energy is interchangeable and, you know, it could, for some of you, represent that you are um, fighting for someone's attention and someone is considering you as an option and someone else as an option. But at the end of the day with the judgment card here, um, I think that everybody's going to get what they need to get. You know, it's, it's, everyone is going to end up with who they need to end up. But there's definitely a focus on love here, Pisces. Sometimes this subject makes you feel inspired, but sometimes it makes you feel confused, foggy, restless. Sometimes you feel like you really want to trust and open yourself to a love or a existing love relationship. Maybe wishing to invest in a current relationship or dynamic. Maybe wishing to um, reignite the passion. But sometimes you feel like there's some toxicity here. Maybe in this subject for you, maybe there's limiting beliefs. Maybe there are... Things from the past that make you look at romantic love as something that's dangerous. Some of you could be dealing with an Aries. But honestly, with this Sphinx illustration, I'm thinking more of the Chariot. So you could be dealing with a Cancer, you could be dealing with an Aries, you could be dealing with a Capricorn. It's as though you need to heal yourself from past disappointments in love. In the past, there have been betrayals, lack of transparency, lies, um, addictions, codependency, toxic stuff. In the past, you have experienced toxic stuff in love. And it has left you feeling left out in the cold, abandoned, and in the need of some serious healing. With the shaman here, some of you guys may be inclined to learn a little bit about shamanism. Um, if that is something that resonates with you, you can check out my book on Amazon. It's called Tales of a Shaman in the Making. You might like that. But the page and the page... I really feel, Pisces, like you're evaluating two romantic options. And you're seeing them and their strengths, and you're seeing them in their weaknesses. But honestly, I see here the knight and the page, so I don't see any queen or king status, Pisces. So think about that. Do you really want to get into a romantic relationship with a page or a knight? Meaning that they're on the early stages of development of their emotional maturity or their maturity in the physical realm or in their mental capacities. Do you want to be in a relationship with a page or knight or do you want to choose or manifest a queen or king? And queen or king doesn't necessarily mean feminine and masculine. It's more of a um, mastery level. 
And you have the emperor here. The emperor goes above the king, all kings. So just think about what you want to manifest and evaluate accordingly. But it seems like you're very attractive at this point. It seems like you are um, definitely being pursued, Pisces. I know that this is probably not going to resonate with all of you. I know that. But please take what resonates with you and leave the rest. If this is not your reading, that's perfectly okay. There's tons of readings in my channel. They're all timeless. So you can click on whichever title it resonates for you. Even if it was posted a long time back. Also guys, um, remember that I'm going to leave all of my information under this video, as always, in the description box, including the links to all of the courses, my website, new products, um, you know, anything that can be relevant for you. I love you, my fishies. I'm actually quite, you know, happy to see that you have options here, but think about what's best for you, okay? I love you guys. I'll see you very soon.